What does the pattern on a bandana mean? Well, the short answer is it represents life and eternity, but understanding that answer is going to take a little bit more explaining. Let's start by taking a trip back to the invention of the symbol, which was around 1800 years ago in what is now modern day Iran. At this time, the most prevalent religion in the area was Zoroastrianism, and it followed these few basic principles. These include following the path of Asha, or to think good thoughts, say good words, and do good deeds, to practice charity and to spread happiness to those less fortunate, to understand that men and women are equal in spirituality, and finally to be good for the sake of goodness without hoping for a reward. Now this is obviously a gross oversimplification of the religion, but the point of this video is not to talk about a 2000 year old Iranian religion. Anyways, one of the most prevalent symbols from this religion was a cypress tree, and more specifically the leaves of the cypress tree. Over time, these cypress leaves began to be depicted as a teardrop shape with a little curve on the top. And at around the same time, in the same area, a repeating floral pattern started to gain favor with some of the royal and higher class families. These two symbols, the cypress leaf and this repeating floral pattern, mixed together and created the first iteration of the modern day buta, or the paisley pattern. The pattern stayed in the Middle East and Asia for about 1600 years, remaining virtually unchanged until the British East India Company visited Kashmir, India, saw the pattern and basically thought, yeah, that's pretty cool, let's bring it back to Europe and see what they think. And in Europe, it was a explosive success. The demand in Europe was so high for these shawls that the supply in India was not nearly enough to keep up. In order to keep up with production, many companies used advances discovered in the Industrial Revolution to make their own machines and print their own patterns. One of the most well-known and well-established towns that printed out these patterns was Paisley, Scotland, hence the name of the pattern today. The demand in Europe continued pretty strongly for about a hundred years until they were so common that just about everybody has them, and when everybody has something it isn't exactly fashionable anymore. So the pattern fell into relative obscurity for a while until it was rediscovered in America, which started a whole nother boom of the Paisley pattern. At this point, more than a hundred years after the Industrial Revolution, technology had advanced to the point that this pattern could be printed on just about anything from jewelry to wallpaper, coffee mugs, you name it. Today, the pattern is still commonly found in many aspects of clothing and design, some 2,000 years after the original creation of a symbol that meant life and eternity. That's all I've got on this topic, but if you have any other burning, unanswered questions that you'd like to see answered, just drop them down in the comments and maybe I'll get to them. But at the very least, now you know what the pattern on a bandana means.